Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I know, I think when this gets uploaded, it will be two days ago, maybe one or two days ago. Yeah, it's either yesterday, but you could tell that my schedule got all messed up. We had like three Toy Soldiers videos, we had like one Dragon Age and two Yu-Gi-Oh! It was a really weird day. I could not get stuff to upload. Um, I had pre-recorded like 20 videos, and they were going up like one a night. Usually I just set all my videos when I go to sleep. And they upload overnight but it was like take uh, for some i don't know what it was um if i was sitting at my computer manually like doing something like watching a youtube video watching something uh doing the you know once you get up like i gotta do title i gotta do tags i gotta do the thumbnail uh if i'm doing that on my computer it uploads fine uh it takes like I don't know. I, it's mo it, it could be better. I could optimize my internet better than I do, but I just don't. Uh, but it's like one minute in real life for every minute I'm uploading, depending. If it's like a five-minute video, it takes me like 30 seconds to upload. It's like really nice. But the longer the video, kind of the more it has to upload. And I don't optimize the file size. They're like just huge uploads. I could optimize some stuff and make it faster. But usually I can upload s if I go to sleep at midnight and get up at 8 or... No, it's really been like go to bed at 11 and get up at 7 because I work at 8. So uh, in that 8-hour time period or whatever it is, 6, 8 hours, I can get about all the videos. If I record 9 videos, I can get them all up kind of overnight. Sometimes they'll go a little faster. Um, it really goes fast at night because then everybody in my house is off the internet. The phones aren't going. You know, We don't have the Google TV. We don't have that running. We don't have a bunch of laptops. We don't have iPads, we don't have all that junk on the internet, it's just my computer uploading, and so, I don't know, that 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 was the issue that we ha that I had, um, that's why yesterday was so jacked up. Why does that train sound like it's coming in my house? I already had to close the windows, because it sounded like I was in the middle of a hur hur hurricane, because it's super windy out, you probably can still hear it, like, I have my whole house... I don't, that train sounded like it was coming through my front door. I don't know what that was about. But I just wanted to explain that. I did go ahead and buy the DLC for this, so this one's a little bit different. We got Roots of the Problem early, and then where's the other one? Oh, and then we got a World of Chaos. So this will be a little bit different. The DLCs won't actually be at the end. Now, keep in mind with this one, I know the general story of Zexel. Um... You've got Yuma and his friends, you know, and they fight it. And he's trying to, you know, beat all the people with numbered cards uh, that are Xyz monsters. And so, it's about it. I saw, like, the first five or six episodes, or maybe a little bit. Actually, I think I watched chunks of the first season. Maybe, like, 12 episodes, but they weren't all in a row. They were kind of spread out. Uh, and so, I'm not too well-knowledged about this. My I, I haven't seen any of Arc V. I should probably watch some, but... Um, you know, I watched the first Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, there's five seasons, I probably watched, you know, a season in full, like, 12 or 13, 14 times. GX, I probably watched the first and the third season, probably three times each, and then the middle one probably two times. And then 5Ds, I've watched that probably every season about two or three times. And then Zexel, I have no idea. So, we're gonna go with Go With The Flow, let's get this started, I spent the first three minutes non-Yu-Gi-Oh, non-video, like, I was trying to explain that, um, because, you know, it's kind of hard to, this is my most popular series on my channel currently, so I thought it'd be best to say it in this video, opposed to the other ones, I probably, because Dragon Age, I'm super far recorded ahead, like, super far, like, I'm trying to get all these videos ready to go, ready to rock and roll, because when Gears comes out, I'm gonna play that non-stop until I, I beat that on Insane, so I've gotta have videos already recorded, <laughs> otherwise, It'll just be Gears, and I like to have two games in case, you know, I know there are people that don't like this Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but they do like my Dragon Age, so they're watching that, and since I upload so much, I only expect people to really watch one series, and so I like to give them an option on which series they want to watch. Uh, that's just kind of how I decided to do this. Once I go to school, it will be more like, you know, every other day <laughs> series type thing. Two different series, but they'll probably go every other day or once a day or something like that. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, now loading Zexel's Histories. Yuma Tsukumo's story begins on a day like any other at Heartland City's local middle school. I like how that, you know, the story is changed to like be an English, you know, not American, but like a, 
western world story i don't know more like locations but they kept the asian names so it's kind of a weird blend but uh, i almost like the i almost like it better if it was just you know we're in asia we're in japan instead of trying to make it oh we're you know we're in somewhere either in europe or north america it would just be better if they put it in your but let me stop talking let's let, it's gonna be like 10 minutes of this video before I even duel uh okay it was there that he came across his friend bronk getting defeated by shark the school bully who was also a powerful duelist that could use xyz summons arg thanks for the duel and for your deck who who bets their deck in middle school? Why does it look like he's got boobs? Like, look at that. Why does he have, like, a defined, like, look at that. Look at that black line. He's wearing a deep V and he's got a black line. It's so weird. Not so fast. Who are you? My name is Yuma and I'm, Gr I'm Bronk's good friend. I want to say Gronk. Bronk and I had an agreement. Whoever won got the other duel other's duel deck. Is that true? It is, but I had to do it. He called me a big chicken. Fine then, if you're gonna challenge my friend, then I'm gonna challenge you. If you beat me, I'll give back this deck. But if I win Yuma, I get your deck. On that Sunday, Yuma kept his word and faced off against Shark. Hope you said your goodbyes because all your cards are about to be mine. Sorry, but the only thing that you're gonna be getting is a good old fashioned butt kicking. When I win your duel deck, I'm gonna trash it. Then maybe you'll learn your lesson. Can't pick fights you can't win. That's where you're wrong, Shark. I'll never learn that lesson. I'll keep trying to high-five the sky, because when you're feeling the flow, there's no going back. And speaking of feeling the flow, I so am. It was then that the golden key necklace around Yuma's neck, gifted to him by his missing parents, released something that would change his life forever. Through the key, Yuma's courage released a being from an unknown realm, a being that only he could see and hear. Who are you? Can you talk? Say something already. Astral? Huh? What's an astral? My name, if I recall, but I do not recall much of anything. Oh, great. Why do I get a feeling... I gotta... Why do I gotta deal with this walking flashlight right before my most important duel ever? Duel? That word is familiar to me. Yes, I recall that I know how to duel. Observe. Oh, good. Goody! We get another tutorial mission. You know, at a certain point game... I don't need four tutor. I don't need five tutorial missions because we're gonna have. Because I guarantee you that only mission for Pendulum is, or for Orc V is how to Pendulum summon, which I don't exactly know how to do, but it can't be that hard. Can't be that confusing. But I don't need five tutorial. You could just do a slow, t a short tutorial within the duel. Like, oh hey, you can, you can Xyz summon now. Okay, I I know how to do this. We don't. We don't need this explained. I can just explain it on my own. Okay, so you play two level three or level four monsters. What are we, uh... Okay, why are we... Oh, God, I, I done goofed. Oh, what? Okay, why wouldn't you... If you wanted to exceed summon one of these level threes, why wouldn't you just double summon? Why wouldn't you just double summon and exceed summon first turn? I don't even get that. God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, what is going on? I was like frozen. Oh, why does Xyz Summon look so similar to freaking fusing? Why don't they like overlay? Why don't they like come down? You know, like when you. Fusion should look like that, and overlay should look how fusion looks. I remember the last tin I bought of Yu-Gi-Oh was the uh, was a uh, Leviathan Dragons tin when this series first started. Wait, why does it want me to why in attack mode? Oh, hey, you just get to play a bunch of hyenas. Whoopee! I feel like still the better option would be to exceed some in first turn, cause I guess since the game already knows what's gonna happen. Really. Okay, I, I will if you'll let me summon him. Where is Giga Brilliant? Here he is. See, don't you think that's how fusion should look? 
and Xyz should look like how fusing works, because the fusing, the cards just come down on top of each other. I feel like that's how that should work, but whatever. Is this what it wanted me to do? Oh yay, we can Xyz summon again. Okay. What does it want me to- it wants to summon an another Giga Brilliant? Why'd you put all these cards in the deck if you just wanted me to summon two Giga Brilliant? His name is Reginald Castle, spelled with a K. What are we summoning now? Oh my gosh. Hey, we get to exceed summon again! What is it? It wants me to summon Sky Blaster Musketeer. There we go. This is so weird. Why am I just exceed summoning three monsters like this? Why didn't I just... I think we could win with just, uh... Yes, I know. What's his effect? You can detect and target one other phase up card on the field, shuffle it into the deck, you can only Then target one other phase and shuffle it into the deck. Is this what I was supposed to do? I don't know what this does. Can I activate it? Excellent. Now all that is left is to finish the duel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have enough attack to finish the duel? Yeah, we do. Get no, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Never mind. I'm stupid. I can't do math. I can't do math. I'm stupid. You know what? Whatever. Tutorial complete. Yay! After the duel, Yuma learned his new friend had some sort of affinity with these new number cars. This number card represents a piece of my memory, but just a small piece. For my memory to tr truly return, I must collect all 100 number cards. Aren't there numbers over 100 for those number cards? Why? 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 We had a deal, so here's Bronx deck back. Thank you for keeping your word. You're a good duelist. I'll see you around. Hey, perhaps we can do this again sometime. Only forget the decks. Let's just duel for good old-fashioned fun. That's the best way to feel the flow. Flipping out campaign duel, Reginald Castle deck avatar. He actually looks kind of cool. Uh, Leviathan Shark deck recipe, Kathy Catherine booster pack, uh, number 17 Leviathan Dragon, surface, uh, shark stickers, and victory duel points. Man, we're going to have an awesome little pack opening when this is... I'm probably going to do like two 50k packs, because 50k pack openings, because I think that's how much I'll have left. I'll have an... I'll probably... I'll be well over 100k, I think. Especially if I lose a bunch. So she has Medulce's. And that's about all I'm seeing. I think she has Bujins. Yeah. And she has Fire Formation. Ghost Tricks. Fire Fist. Okay. I don't even know who this character is. Oh, she's got Eva Tiles too. I don't really know how many of these I'm gonna open up. I think I'll just open up five because that's been kind of the that's been kind of the theme, you know, with the packs that I don't really like. I just open up five to see what we can pull. Oh, we got tour bus. The one thing I don't like, I wish they would have done more packs. Like, okay, so this is the last one, but I wish they would have done, you know, see they have six. I wish they would have done twelve, you know, like two rows, because then they could have split up some of the different um, the different. Mm -hmm. Uh, sets that they put in these packs because you know they've got kind of a lot of different if you're trying to pull you know if you want to make them a dolce deck you got to pull those packs but you got to avoid pulling fire fists and boochins and all that different junk so but that's all right flipping out oh it's this chick this is the chick uh through astral's guidance yuma's dueling abilities increased however his new success also attracted new duels focused on winning yuma's numbered cards 
One such competitor was Flip Turner. Oh no, it's wait, no, that's not who. I, okay, never mind. And when Flip found that Yuma had more than one number card, his focus became clear, even clearer. I guess there's are there are, there are a bunch of other numbers, all the more for me to snatch up. What is it with you? Why do you gotta be so mean all the time, Flip? I'm not mean. The world is, and I learned it the hard way, Yuma. You don't know how many times my so-called friends tricked me out of my cards. That's when I realized that there was always something going on the flip side. Uh, so I took advantage. If my enemies were pretending to be nice but were truly mean, I would pretend to be fair but would truly cheat. And without fail, it always worked. I wanted everything, including duels where winning matters the most. But there, that's where you're wrong, Flip. Dueling's not just about winning. It's about having fun and doing the best you can do. No, no, shut up, Yuma. Winning is everything. Shut up. Shut up. It's like when people... Um, I'm not even going to go into it, but no. That's just what people... That's just what losers tell themselves. Oh, it's just about having fun. You know, as long as you tried hard. You know, I'll never forget when I was younger and we, we lost. You know, your parents are supposed to... You know, you know, I don't blame my parents, but they were like, Oh, good job, and all that different crap. They were like, Oh, you did, ve you did really good. And I just remember looking at him and I was like, no, we lost. Shut up. It's like, that's just not. I'm just like, no. It's like, I hate losing. I was like, I keep score. I know, I know that we lost. Okay. I don't really know how to play these decks very well, but we're gonna give it a shot. Baba Knight. At the start of the damage step, this card attacks it face up. Defense is destroy that monster. I'm gonna bring Zubaba Knight to my hand. Now, what is safe zone? Activate this card by targeting one face of attack which is a monster on the field. That face of monitor cannot be attacked, cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects or be destroyed by battle. You cannot attack your opponent directly when this card leaves the field. Destroy that monster. Alright. Just summon Zubaba Knight. Alright, flip. What card you got face down here? Chewbone. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is this? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What the hell? Why do I have these stupid little freaks on my field? Oh, I'm gonna summon Leviathan. Screw Utopia, nobody. Leviathan Dragon just looks cooler. Why do I have these stupid chew bone tokens on my field? No. Alright, um. I think I'll just. Oh, that's great. Well, never mind. I guess I am uh, not summoning. I'm not going for Leviathan Dragon yet because. No, no, no. Stop it, safe zone. You know what? I'm. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this, whatever. I'm gonna give it to one of the Zababas. I don't like the fact they can't attack directly, so. I don't really. It doesn't really matter to me about that card. Oh yeah, lose life points. But doesn't it if I attack start of the damage step? Yeah, there we go. Alright, that works. Yeah, let's do 300 damage. I wish I had a level 1 XC. Oh, I do! Baby Tyragon. I can... can I, no, no, why wouldn't it let me overlay these things? Oh well. Oh well. He'll summon something and attack, yep. Oh, but he can flip it to face down defense. Yeah, suck it. Oh, this is so stupid. Can I draw a monster that I can sacrifice something? No, no. I see how it is, game. I really wish I could do baby Tyragon. I don't even know if it's good, but aren't these level these are level one. I'm gonna exceed some in here eventually because I want that achievement. So I'm just gonna do it to get it. Okay.
Alright, alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, good. No. We're fine. Level 4 higher monsters. Okay, give me another Zubaba Knight. Since this is the best thing I have. Okay, Zubaba Knight. Okay, I'll attack with this Zubaba Knight. Yeah, this, this dude, this dude's deck is just horrible. I feel bad for him. This is just, this is just pitiful. Okay, Flip. You better have a world beater right here. Or you're, it's, it's gonna be a hot GG. It's the hot GG. Okay, well. Really? It's a lot of damage. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I could do... See, but this doesn't really help me. I wanna get rid of that one. Sure. I just want the achievement. Yeah! <laughs> I could've just waited, but I wanted it now. Well, it doesn't matter, I have to play it in defense position because of this stupid thing. And then let's just summon Gaga -ga -ga Magician. Okay, that's it. I just realized I can't really win now. We're literally in like a stalemate. I done, I done goof. I done goofed. Oh well. All over, all over one achievement, dude. Oh, if he wasn't stupid, you know. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. You suck, dude, what the? It doesn't even matter that he took control of that. We can't, you can't attack with it, so have fun with it. Dude, this is gonna be stupid. This is gonna be stupid. Oh yeah, he's gotta pay 100 life points. So bro, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do, Flip Turner? I'll, I'll speed this process up. No. Oh, yay, 500 damage. You're gonna lose pretty quickly here, Flip Turner. What you gonna do? Like, he screwed himself over with that. Like, he could drop the most power. Oh! Oh! I get it. I get it, you douche. But you're not gonna win in time, so doesn't matter. Yep. Yep. You don't have enough turns left, old flip. You ain't got enough turns left. Deal your 1,000 damage. Yep. Um... Oh, 
doesn't matter. I have to throw them in the ones. Yep. Yep. Let's go with uh, Utopia. Throw him in defense mode. Can I just copy any monsters? It had to be his monster. No. Oh, your opponent controls. Dang it. If it would have been my monster, then... I'm already gonna beat him here pretty darn quickly. He's got 100 life points left. Like, Oh boy, am I afraid. Yeah, flip your card back down. The one issue is he does have those face down cards. Just targeted for an attack. I haven't... You can attach one to negate the attack. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, in this card, you can special summon one level one monster from your graveyard. Oh, hey, that that works. That works. Yep. I think I know what I'm doing. I think this will work. Maybe. Hopefully. If it doesn't, then. It's not really a big deal, but it should work. I could have won this duel, like, so long ago. Yep. Yep. Goodbye, Flip Turner. Okay, I could have won that so long ago, but whatever. Yeah, that's how you flow. All my tricks, and still I lost. You earned my respect the right way, by not cheating. That's gotta feel good inside, doesn't it? I'm turning over a new leaf right now. Uh, the Sparrow campaign duel, flipping out reverse. Flip Turner deck avatar, Flip Turner flipping paint deck recipe, Bite of the Chewbone challenge deck, Chewbone, Des Lacuda, Cobra Jar, and Victory Duel Points. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one we will be doing the Sparrow, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.